Hey, John Cristana here, and we're gonna be going over the five golden rules of affiliate and CPA marketing in this video. Now, I've made over $10 million doing it. Let's just dive right into this video. First golden rule is cash flow first. Now, what do I mean by cash flow first? Well, I mean that you shouldn't ever leverage yourself more than you can afford when you're starting to do affiliate or CPA marketing. Now, what I mean by that is if you have no money, don't be spending money on ads to make commissions of products if you don't have any money on ads. Uh, there are a lot of free traffic methods out there which you can apply just sending messages to folks on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, et cetera, LinkedIn. And I have a ton of free traffic videos where I talk about how you can get started in affiliate or CPA marketing without spending any money whatsoever. So check out those videos. I'll link them somewhere around here. Now, if you do have a little bit of money to start, but let's say you have $50, let's say you have $100 and you wanna get started in buying advertising and making commissions then start with app installs. Start with mobile app installs and you can find a lot of products that you can advertise and earn commissions off of app installs by looking at the top CPA networks such as Affiliati, Max Bounty, Ads for Doe. There's a lot of affiliate networks out there. I have an entire list of affiliate networks that you can check out. So make sure you just join as many affiliate networks as you can. Now, if you do have a little bit of money, then I suggest you start with ClickBank or CPA networks like the ones I just mentioned, Max Bounty, Ads for Doe, Affiliati, and ClickBank. ClickBank, you can earn commissions of anywhere from 50 to $500 for each sale you make. And again, it's a fairly easy way to start making money. And this is good if you have a few hundred dollars to spend in advertising. The second golden rule of marketing is to not fall in love with any of your ad campaigns. But John, oh. I really love cat toys. Why can't I just, just try to market cat toys and make money? Look, some things just don't work for affiliate marketing. Some things just aren't able to give you the return on investment of time or money that you put into it. So don't waste your time on niches that are just not gonna make money whatsoever. Now, a random story here is I really interested in aliens and I was uh, spending a lot of time trying to market an alien ebook, an ebook on like aliens and how to protect yourself and all this stuff. It, it, it didn't work out very well. I, I, I was able to make some sales, but I was never able to get that campaign profitable. So, I mean, that, that was just a complete waste of time. Again, don't fall in love when something isn't working, ditch it and move on. This is a business. The third golden rule of affiliate marketing is just to copy winners, okay? Find affiliate campaigns, find top offers that work, find affiliates ads for them and copy, okay? This takes a little bit of research. The first way to find top offers is to join a lot of affiliate networks and just look at each network's top offers, look at the top trending categories, etc. The second step is to find ads for them. Again, you can Google or search norm, you know, terms around that niche and look in Google, look in Bing ads, look in Facebook ads, look in all of these other areas where people advertise, look at display advertising, look in spy tools. There's a lot of ways that you can find other affiliates ads to copy that are running the top offers. Again, once you find an affiliate's ads that's advertising a top offer, just copy them and implement it yourself and buy ads on the same targeting, same landing page, same messaging, and you are dramatically lowering any risk that you have of losing money because you're already starting with a winning gold nugget and you're already starting with a gold vein because it's a top offer that you know works. This is how I got started. This is how I've done all of my affiliate campaigns, frankly. And it has, I've, I've been successful in dozens and dozens and dozens of different niches from weight loss to testosterone, to skincare, to survival, to insurance, to mortgage, to refi, to investment, to biz up, all of the above. I've always started by doing my research on the top offers, by finding other affiliates doing advertising for them and by copying them. And if you wanna learn more about my research process, it's pretty intensive. You can check out my number one income method below, which is 
a link that'll take you to learn more about my training course, the Super Affiliate System, which is where, which is a very in-depth, very boring material, not boring material, I think I make it exciting, but I go in depth into my step-by-step -step process and we've created multiple millionaires that have just followed in my footsteps, that have gone through the process, that have learned affiliate marketing the way I do it and have made a lot of money doing so. The fourth golden rule of marketing is to have a big picture of marketing in mind, but to have laser-like focus on the niche or the category or the product or the offer or the traffic source that you are advertising on or you are using as a message platform to get information out there. Now an example of what big picture means is big picture is understanding the basics of marketing. Now one of my favorite books to learn really the basics of marketing is this book by Drew Eric Whitman called Cash Advertising and it's it's a very engaging book and it gives you very tactical a step by step examples of how to actually do marketing in the real world. Another good book that gives me a lot of ideas is called Magic Words That Sell. And it's by Ted Nicholas. There's a lot of great books out there, but what I suggest you do is understand the big picture of marketing, understand how it works, understand how to do copywriting and, and all these other aspects of marketing. And laser-like focus comes into play when you're doing a particular offer or niche. Understand, maybe there's seasonality. Okay. Most marketing in the affiliate and CPA world works fantastically through the months of January through March because of the new year. But understand that some niches, it's very different. In some of the e-commerce niches, they do better towards the end of the year. Some other niches do better in the summer. Some niches like tax prep and whatnot, like Quicken Loans, etc., all the tax stuff, work way better around tax season. Understanding the peculiar air... <laughs> Understanding the peculiar air, peculiar. <laughs> Whew. Understanding the peculiarities of, if I can pronounce that word, of your particular niche helps out a lot. Now, an example from my own marketing is once I kind of pivoted from just marketing health and wellness products uh, as an affiliate to marketing some of my own products in the business opportunity space. I was used to using fear angles. Fear angles what is what sells weight loss pills. Fear angles is what sells skincare. Again, when you're selling skincare, you say things like, don't, you know, are you tired of looking in the mirror and, 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 and re recognizing your own mortality by looking at the wrinkles on your face? Okay, maybe I didn't get that intense in some of my ads because they would have been banned, but you know, I walk up to that line. Or another example of a fear angle would be for the joint relief niche. Uh, an example would be, you know, are, are you worried about going down the stairs at night that your, that your leg will just snap in half because your bones are so brittle and you'll fall down the stairs and die? Okay, that's another pretty intense marketing angle that would work, but again, that messaging wouldn't necessarily be approved by ad networks, so you gotta kind of backtrack that a little bit. So moving onwards. Going into the business opportunity space, I was used to using fear angles. Maybe I would say things in my, uh, in my advertising like, are you tired of waking up to an alarm clock each day? Do you hate your boss? Not making your parents proud? But those angles don't really work in the business opportunity niche. People want benefits. People want to know how much money they can make. People want to know how quickly they can make money. People want to know how fast and if, if they don't need any skills or experience or any of those things to make money in the business opportunity niche. They want to see Lamborghinis. They want to see helicopters. They want to see fancy houses. And they want to see lots of girls all around you and you living the freaking dream. That is what sells in the business opportunity niche. And, and there's no shortage of Instagrammers that are applying these exact same principles in order to sell whatever they're doing, their stock tips or their crypto tips or their business opportunity courses. There's a million of these characters nowadays. Uh, and, and also let me know if you follow any like crazy interesting Instagrammers um, and let me know which ones you follow in the comments below and uh, I will let you know my thoughts on them if I've heard of them before. Now the fifth golden rule of marketing is subscribe to this channel and like this video. No, that's not the fifth golden rule. Fifth golden rule is split test continuously. Split test continuously. If you are using free traffic methods and you are sending 50 DMs or 
private messages per day to people on social media, split test your messaging because one message may work way better than another. In fact, I can guarantee that different messaging will perform differently. And if you continuously split test, you may find that some messaging works 10 times or even 100 times better than other messages or ads you have put out. Split test your traffic sources, meaning if you're advertising a product and you're just breaking even on Google, maybe you will make money if you put that same advertising on Bing. Another example is if you are advertising the top weight loss offer on ClickBank, then you might wanna split test that against the top weight loss offer on a CPA network. One may make you more money than the other. I personally made most of my money from CPA networks. I found their offers are just way more aggressive. They make way more money. They have way better conversion rates, especially when I was advertising free trial offers. I just raked in the dough. Lord, thank you for acai berries and Garcinia Cambogia. The way I built my business to making over $10 million doing affiliate marketing was very simple is I copied campaigns, I would do the research, I'd find winning campaigns and I'd implement them. And I'd, do advert I'd set up the advertising, whether it was on Google or Facebook or Tagula or Outbrain or Bing or wherever. And then I started building a team of people to continuously split test every aspect of the advertising. Now the folks that worked for me, they, I didn't pay them anything. They only earned commission if they created a winning campaign. Uh, if they created more money with their marketing. But they didn't have to come up with anything from scratch, again, and neither do you. If you just take winning campaigns and you split test, you will find winners and you will make more money than other people doing the same exact thing that are lazy and not split testing. That's my secret, folks. So I hope this video helped you. Give this video a like if you learned something from this video. Let me know which of these tips in the comments below helped you out the most. And I will focus in on that and do more videos in the future on that. Was it split testing continuously? Was it having a big picture mind, but a laser-like focus? Was it copying winning campaigns? Was it never falling in love with a campaign? Or was it whatever the other thing I said was? Let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and see you in my next video.